Hello, my name is Caroline. In this video, we are going to talk about the Amazon Echo device, how to create your own gadget that will pair with your Echo device from a Raspberry Pi 3 and how to add on a LED. To find out more, let's get started. Oh, before I get started, this is your reminder, please put your devices on mute as I will be saying the wake word often in this video. In this video, we're going to talk about something called Alexa gadgets. Now, what are Alexa gadgets? When Amazon started this Alexa gadget thing, it was a button. They sell buttons that pair with your Echo device so that you can play games or that you can control smart home devices. I have covered that in previous videos. I will link to that below if you're interested in learning more about these Echo buttons. And they are for sale still today. And it is a Bluetooth connection between each gadget and the Amazon Echo device. Essentially, there was a game and the, this was kind of acting like a buzzer, like, hey, you want to buzz in when you have the right answer? And you would press the button and it would uh, trigger your Amazon Echo device uh, so that you could play your game. Amazon has opened it up where you can make your own button gadget from almost anything with a Bluetooth connection. And the first thing that they thought of was, hey, you're Raspberry Pi comes with a Bluetooth connection. And really, you could do this with any Raspberry Pi. You could do this with a 0W. You could do this with the 3, or you could do this with a 4. So in this video, I'm going to use my Raspberry Pi 4 just to prove that you can do this with a Raspberry Pi 4. This week, we are going to light up an LED when we say the wake word. And then next week, I'm going to continue this project, but we're going to add a servo motor to this project, and it will turn as we have a timer. And what is a servo motor? Servo motor is just a tiny motor, and I'll link to how you can purchase one below if you're interested. Uh, they usually buy them in packs of five or ten or so. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive. For this week's project, you will need one LED of a color of your choice. It doesn't matter what color. You'll need one resistor, 330 ohm resistor. You'll need two jumper cables. They need to be male to female jumper cables. I highly recommend using the Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 3 with it because it has something called header pins and that will make it easy for you to connect your jumper cables to your Raspberry Pi. If you use a 0W, generally speaking, they don't come with header pins and you'll have to solder them on. And I can link to a video on how you can solder on some header pins. I've done it in the past before. Uh, it's just much easier just to use a three uh, for demo purposes. Now let's go over where we're going to get our guide today for our project. Now I'm going to github.com forward slash Alexa. And the project we're working on today is Alexa Gadgets Raspberry Pi Samples. I will link to it below so it's easy for you to find. But here is the GitHub page where all of the code lives and you're going to go through a step-by-step -step tutorial. They're going to talk about the prerequisites. We've already talked about that, the installation and uh, creating an account, creating a product gadget on Alexa voice service. How do we do that? We need to have a developer account with Amazon. So you go to developer.amazon.com. And if you don't already have a, an account, uh, please create one. It is free to create an account. And then you should be taken to the developer console under the drop down. I'll mouse over Alexa. Under the drop down, I want you to select Alexa Voice Service. That's key to this. Do not select Skills Kit. That is not what we're looking for here. We're going to Alexa Voice Service. Click on that and we're going to create a product. So I'm going to click on products here and then I'm going to create a product. And in this product, we're going to give it a name, a name of your choice, a product ID of your choice. We're going to select Alexa gadget. Uh, we're going to select a product category, write a description. You do not need an image and you are not intending to distribute this commercially and this is not geared toward children under 13 and you have to agree to terms and conditions and then you click finish and it'll create a gadget ID and a gadget secret. Now I'm not going to do this. I'm actually going to go to the one I already created here and I've got an Amazon ID and a gadget secret. Now I'll need this for the next step. In the next step, I have my Amazon ID and I've got my gadget secret. So that is this set of instructions in the GitHub repository. Now I need to get the files onto my Raspberry Pi. And uh, so I am doing everything on a Raspberry Pi. 
as shown. Now, this is running on Raspbian Buster. If you don't know how to set up your Raspberry Pi with Raspbian Buster, Raspbian operating system, I have another video you can watch to do a basic setup for your Raspberry Pi. It, there is a micro SD card that you'll need, and I have a regular mouse and keyboard and an HDMI monitor and a power supply. I am on my Raspberry Pi. I need to get clone all of the code onto my Raspberry Pi. I'll do that by opening a terminal and I will paste the file and then I'm copying all of the code over to my Raspberry Pi. Excellent. Next, what we need to do is we need a CD into where we just copied all the files. So copy, I'm gonna wait for this to finish here. And then I need a CD into the new directory I just created where all the files live. Paste, enter, excellent. And then I wanna do a pseudo bash setup and this will set up everything for me. And I'm gonna hit enter, paste, enter. So I am in the setup now. Have I registered my Alexa gadget in the Alexa developer portal? Yes, you just saw me do that. So my Amazon ID for my gadget is right here. Copy, hit paste, hit enter. And then now I need my secret, copy, and go over here and I'm going to paste my secret, enter, and now it is working and it will run a bunch of setup scripts and get all of the files onto my Raspberry Pi. And then while we're doing that, I'm gonna go back to the GitHub tutorial. We're on the setup page now. It's gonna take a few minutes to run all of this. And I do need to make sure I've removed Bluetooth from the panel. Do follow these instructions. I've already done that. I've removed my Bluetooth from the panel. And then we're going to go into projects. And the project we're doing today is with the LED. And with that, I am going to do, it's called the wake word gadget. And that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to do a wake word gadget. And what you need for this is you need a Raspberry Pi Zero, but a Raspberry Pi 4 will work just as well. A breadboard and an LED, LED of your choice, resistor 330 ohms and two jumper wires, male to female. Let's wire this up as shown in this diagram. Let's go over how we connect our GPIO from our Raspberry Pi to our LED to make it light up. The longer pin is a positive, the shorter pin is a negative. We're gonna connect our resistor to the negative pin and then the positive pin here is going to go to GPIO 14, which is also pin number eight or the fourth pin down on the right hand side on our Raspberry Pi. And then the negative is going to go to a ground pin. Now I'm already using the ground pin to run this fan because I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 and it runs really hot. So I'm going to go to the seventh pin down on the right hand side and uh, hopefully that will work. All right, excellent. So let's go back to the script that we were running, the pseudo bash setup. It is done now. It says it's successful, excellent. I'm gonna hit any key to reboot and complete the setup. Okay, excellent. So it, we're just gonna wait for a second for it to reboot. All right, excellent. I do need to open the internet browser once again. And while I'm at it, I'll open the file browser as well. So this is the folder that we created. It contains Alexa gadgets, Raspberry Pi samples in here. Go to SRC, then we're gonna go to examples. We are working with the wake word tutorial today and it is right here. And let's go back to, and I can go back to history pretty easily here. Uh, so I'm back to the pages that I was using. Now I am in the wake word tutorial. If you wanna know how I got here, we were in Raspberry Pi samples and then we scrolled down and we've, we created our gadget within the samples. And then now we are going to the different projects. So I selected wake word gadget. And then from there, we went through and hooked up our LED. Excellent. So we've completed that. We've configured our credentials. We are now going to test our new Python script that utilizes the wake word. And we are on the wake word tutorial. Next, we need to go to our code. Where is our code? If you go to File Explorer, Alexa Gadgets, SRC, Examples, and we are going for wake word, and there is our code. How do we get to that? We're gonna run it in a terminal. We're gonna do a CD command into that directory. And then what we need to do is we need to run the code. What's the command to run the code? Uh, it is Python wake word gadget copy. And then I will paste it and we will 
run the code. Now I'm ready to pair my Raspberry Pi with my Echo device. First, go to my phone, starting a screen record, and I'm going to open the Alexa app on my device, mm -hmm. all right? And I'm gonna go to devices in the bottom right-hand corner, hit Echo and Alexa, go to bathroom, and that is the name of this device. You can rename all the devices by the room that they're in. That's what I've chosen to do. Then I'm gonna hit pair Alexa gadget, and it's gonna start searching for gadget 1CA is the name that it's been assigned. And there it is, gadget 1CA. I'm gonna tap that. And it says it's been paired. I'm gonna hit done. And I believe that's all I need to do. The devices, so it should be paired now. It says it's connected on my screen. So let's try this out. Alexa, stop. And hopefully you saw the blue LED come on. I activated the wake word, it turned on the LED. And then when I cleared the wake word with the stop, it turned off the LED. So for example, I'll say, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 6.16 p.m. And there you see the LED uh, turn on and off. And that is the project, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, essentially, we have paired our Amazon Echo device with our Raspberry Pi through a Bluetooth connection. And through this Python script we're running on the Raspberry Pi, we're able to activate our LED. Now you can make changes through the Python code for different LEDs, maybe more than one LED, or changing how the LED reacts as you are working with your Amazon Echo device. Thanks so much for watching. Next week, we will cover servo motors with this Alexa gadget. Please join me for that. Thank you. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye now.